Hey guys, this is Rich with Fast Reviews, and I'm super excited to bring you Smart HUD HUD heads up display for the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. Now, this is a nice product because you'll be able to see things that you'll see on your regular screen, except it'll be in front of you. Now, the other thing that I really like about this is that it has the ability to support Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The basic uh, OEM Tesla does not have that. It also has support for a camera in the front. That means that if you're going to install a camera, you'll be able to park better. Um, the instructions are a little bit complicated, so I'm gonna go through it uh, after I study it in detail, because you will have to connect to your OBD port which is not exposed like a typical car. So you're gonna have to connect to the OBD port, connect the connector plug in there, and then, you know, <laughs> so it's pretty, it's pretty lengthy. This is a uh, 14 page instruction, 14 page instruction. So the first thing that you guys need to do is you need to know how to work with wiring, you need to know how to work with your car because not everyone is gonna be able to do this type of installation. This installation is probably worth about two to $400, depending on where you, um, where you shop it. And then of course you could break something. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to disconnect the battery of the Tesla and then uh, you'll wanna uh, follow the instructions. Now the camera, the camera is a little bit easier to install. It goes underneath the, um, in the grill part of the car. So you'll be able to connect it there. And then you're going to um, connect it to the hood part of the car where it's got a little bit of uh, power there. And then it's gonna use double-sided tape or glue or a screw to mount it. So pretty cool. You can see that the uh, that it's a full-fledged system. So you're not just getting a heads-up display. You're also getting a camera. But this is pretty cool because this is quite it's quite hefty. It's it's a very nice finish. It matches the car color. It's got double-sided um, a double-sided 3M tape right here ready. So it will stick. And the holes. This is a lot of engineering here. The holes are aligned, um, you know, perfectly. Now it does have these connectors here. Um, they're not waterproof, but they're very, uh, very standardized. And it seems to have uh, a hole like a speaker. I don't know. It's got a USB on the side here, so you can plug in your phone. And it's got a lightning cable. This is worth $8. And uh, it's got the camera accessory here. Look how small that camera is, so pretty cool. You'll be able to um, get that in the front bumper and then here is an installation kit now again guys if you don't know how to do this take it to a professional shop i'll put a link in the description below if you need some in california but uh yeah put, take it to a professional shop because it is not an easy installation but we're going to go through that in this video and we're also going to go through the usage of it and if you want one of these i'll put a link in the description below they are running out of these so you want to make sure that if you're going to buy this uh, you get your order in Last time I ordered it, there was like nine left or something. So um, there's a built-in fuse right here. So you can see here, there's a built-in fuse. There it is right there. It's a 10 amp fuse. So that's pretty cool that it's already got the built-in. Tesla's, of course, you know, they don't use fuses. Now this seems to have a, uh, kind of like a GPS sensor. GPS or some type of sensor here. Pretty cool, it's got a bracket and then it's got a finish, uh, a 3D printed finish plate. So let's get started with installing it. Okay, so first we're gonna pull this out. Now, this is the panel. This is one of the panels right here. We can and then see. And the secondary panel right there. All right guys, so we're going to use the number 15 hexagon to remove the trim panel at the passenger's knee position. So first we're gonna pop this out and pry this open. We got that assembly down. See here the connector port. Alright. And if you want to, if you want to guys, make sure that you disconnect the battery. Otherwise, you could get shocked. Alright guys, so this is the hardest part of this project here, is because you're gonna have to use the male to female um, connector right here. 
and you have to go in here and uh, get access to it. So you have to go in and get access to it. So here's a couple tips. You'll notice that it's green and blue, double green and blue right here. So it's double green and blue right there. So you're looking for this type of connector. You've got two minutes to make this connection. Otherwise the car will uh, kind of reset. You can if you want to take out the battery, but you know, you don't have to. And by the way guys, if you want to uh, upgrade your LED lights, now is a good time, okay? So I take that out. I guess I could take the speaker out, but you know. Now you're gonna get the secondary light here. You're gonna shine it. All right, so you see right here where it's got this screw? You're gonna look for the second pin connector right there, okay? So this, look for the screw, and then in there is the second pin connector. The best way to do this is to go and put a towel on your mat and then just go upside down and look, look from the bottom up, which I'm gonna do in a second. Okay, so right here, this is what we're trying to get at, that second thing there, the second cable harness. All right guys, so we're gonna plug that into the harness assembly, which means we've got to replace that. It's gonna be this guy right here. Uh, we're gonna need to use a screwdriver to pull that open. That's the second connector. And then that will allow us to plug that in. All right guys, so if you've done it right, so first of all, you can actually take this out, make for a much better um, installation experience. But uh, if you're daring like me, you can go off the side. However, um, when you're done, you should be able to see this cable and you should be able to route this around through the outside. Now the GPS is gonna go right here in that spot right there. And then this is gonna go right across to set up the connection points. If you don't have it enough, you should buy some of this, uh, it's called Tesla tape. And that's gonna allow you to have uh, no type of movement on the, uh, under the dash. All right guys, so I put the GPS on here because uh, basically I want to make sure that it has the best signal possible. So that line runs through here and it goes into here. So we're gonna put a little bit of caulking right here just to make sure. <clears throat> So anyway, we're gonna put a little bit of caulking in here just to make sure that there's no um, leaks. We're also gonna put a little caulking right here just to kind of prevent uh, any potential leaks at this site too. Okay, and the way that I did it is it's gonna run right through, so if it does leak, it's gonna go through there. So those are the things you think about. Every, all the wires are run through here um, properly now, and we're ready for putting the dash panel on. We don't want to have this wire sticking out like this, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this. So there's something you can buy called Tesla tape, and it prevents, it provides an exterior thing so that it's not gonna be shaking inside the dash panel. If you're lazy like me, you can just take out that screw and that should work. Um, but if you are, then so be it. Then before you close the panel, uh, remember that we're gonna install the front camera. So we're gonna go through this side to install the front camera and that's gonna make it a lot easier and smoother. So you guys can see how it pops up like that and then the bottom pops out straight. That frees up the front dash panel here. All right, so while we're working on our project, we're gonna route this wire over. All right, so now we're gonna proceed with installing the front camera. So a couple things here. Number one is there's a screw right here that people miss. This whole assembly is gonna have to come up. And if you want to, you can disconnect the battery. Right now we're finding out which bits will fit into this category here. This is European millimeters, that's inches, American. So 10 millimeters is the standard that they're using. That's gonna give you access to all the bolts here, okay? And then the battery is connected is right here if you wanna take the battery. And there is a leaf here. All right, so this is my installation here. I still have access to the vents. And you just simply have to cut the tabs off in the back. So that's how I installed it. If you don't do it this way, you have a vent cover that you can use here so that the uh, screen doesn't get hot. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this. This is a really great product. I encourage you to get it. And don't forget to like and subscribe.